Hello, let's look at the future continuous together. It's also called the future progressive. It has two forms which are alternatives, they are interchangeable. You can either say I will be learning or I'm going to be learning, they mean the same. Here if we go with will, it's one form for all the different subjects. So I will be learning, you will be learning and so on. You can also have a contracted form, apostrophe double L. I'll be learning, you'll be learning and so on. Or you can go for to be. So to be you have to conjugate to be in the simple present, add going to behind it, then be and learning. So let's try. I am going to be be learning. You are going to be learning and so on. The negative, you have this form here, I will not be learning or I won't be learning. I am not going to be learning or contracted, I'm not going to be learning. And the question form, will I be learning? And if it's negative, won't I be learning or will I not be learning? And with to be, am I going to be learning? Am I not going to be learning? Aren't I going to be learning? So many, many options. When do I use this tense? So let's see some examples, so it sticks. I use this particular tense for an action that will take place at a specific time in the future. For example, I will be traveling next year. For parallel actions, so simultaneous actions, I will be reading, you will be studying too, for example or an action that is interrupted. So, I will be learning when you get home, for example. These are various signal words that you can use comfortably with this tense. Tomorrow, still, in, next, tonight, and so on. So with this text, there's nothing really in particular that I wanted to highlight, just the usual. Make sure you have all the components when writing or using this tense. Don't forget that you have two forms that are interchangeable and don't forget to look at where to place the adverb when using these tenses.